And away we go. Today is week eight and six. That's right. These guys have been with me for eight weeks now. Isn't that exciting? Just lovely. I love these birds. Oh, yeah. And uh, I was feeling kind earlier because, I mean, look at these poor guys. They just look so miserable in here. So I let them out for a little bit. And they were uh, roaming the, the floor in here. It was, uh, it, was, it was a little, it was funny, but yet a little tragic because when I first let the, sat them down, it was like they were afraid to move. Like they, they, it, there was so much room. They, it's almost like it just scrambled their brains. Like they, they didn't know what to do. So, uh, they, they stood here for a little bit and then Faddle, this one kept doing this thing where she would like, like thump the floor and crouch down real low and then take off running like real fast. It was really, really funny. And I think they were very happy with it, and I very much enjoyed myself, other than the fact that I had to follow them around and pick up a lot of poop. You would not believe how much these chicken poop these chickens can poop in just like a matter of 20, 30 minutes. It's insane. Oh, but yeah, I caught some footage, so I'll let you see that here. Chickens like to play. So, I am now following chickens around and uh, cleaning up piles of chicken poop. I could not stand to watch these poor birds in that nasty little cage for any longer. Jack is just elated. When I first put, I wish I would have been recording when I first put them down because they were doing this thing, especially Faddle, where she would like, like almost like she'd start stomping and she'd like like that she'd like start running around and then like uh, it was almost like she was trying to break dance or something it was really bizarre but yeah they when I first put them down on the floor they just stood there like statues like they didn't know what to do and it was funny so yeah I've got more painting to do I'm almost uh my my sea of little coffins. Yes, we're we're honoring our dead. I don't, I'm not sure who died, but that's what we're doing. Got about this much more to do, and I'll be done with the paint anyway. And then we go to that beast. Bom, bom, bom. But yeah, we may do a video later. Hard to say because I got lots to do. Oh look, woohoo! Chicken poop. Yeah, I've just been following them around, picking up their poo, because I don't want to step in it. That's my biggest problem. But yeah, they're having a great time. Will you put yourself up there, silly? I know. Chirp, chirp. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully they don't poop on my boxes. Hmm. <laughs> So yeah, it was uh, lots of fun having them all all gathered around and having a good time. It's a, it's a late video again today because I've been doing this all day. This has been my, uh, my, my day so far has been all of this. So I, I like to think of them as, I, I think I said it in the other video, but little coffins. Or honoring, I'm not sure what. It isn't dead chickens. Ha ha ha, because all the chickens are fine. Parabolabola. You, you look like a raven, my friend. You look like a raven standing on a wire. They're all roosted up. I, they're all, they freaked out when I put this cardboard up here. It's like they all rushed over here to the one spot in the cage that wasn't covered. I, I don't know what they thought. It was truly a sky is falling moment. But there they are, all lined up in a little row. <laughs> Look at them. Oh my God, they're so awesome. 
You don't smell awesome, but you look awesome. They're just so cute. Oh, you guys got a rag, did you? Look at that. You guys are tricky. Yeah, Trixie Devils. Oh. Got an alert. That that cheap is their breaking news. Everybody stops, collaborates, and listens. Little chip. Look at that stellar fine specimen. Chip. Chippy chip. And of course you, Parabara. Parabara. Hi there. How are you, Beanstalk Brother? It's funny. The only one I know is the uh, uh, the only way I can tell them apart now is I know the uh, the one in there is Jack. That's the only way I know that they're they're different. Although two of them have like solid feathers, like you see how like the 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 orange or brown I guess and the white is like very solid on on the feathers. But then if you look at these guys. It's all like variegated. So there's two of them that are like that, that are variegated like that. And then two that are, that have the solid backs like this one. So I don't know if, I guess they're, they're all ISAs. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. There, there were, there were five yellow chicks. Three of them were ISAs, one of them was a starlight, and then one of them was a rainbow. One of them passed away, so now we have four. Well, I don't think you're going to be able to do that, friend. There's, there's a gate there. Yeah, right, there's a gate there. So who knows what we have here, and to be quite honest with you, I really don't care as long as they lay eggs. That's, uh, that's the end goal, is that they lay eggs. Yeah, some feathers coming there. Not nearly as feathered as Ozzy. I think that I I don't I, th I think that Gwen might be like a like a crossbreed, like a, a regular legged chicken and then a feather legged chicken. I don't know. Hard to say. But uh, once I get this order done, I just have to. Uh, put the designs on the boxes and once we get that done I will be able to get their enclosure in Cluckersburg done because the weather my friends has turned I the the weather forecast shows no freezing from here until at least the next 10 days now I'm sure that we will get another freeze before the the cold weather goes away forever that's usually the way it works, is it'll get your hopes up real good and then come walloping back in at some point, sometimes a couple points, where it's uh, cold again. But uh, I'm thinking that uh, it's it's not going to be cold, cold, like it for prolonged periods of time, I hope. And we've got someone working real hard out here. She did actually have a lot of work to do when, uh, cause I had to shoo her out of here when, uh, the chickens were loose. So she came back in and I had cleaned up all the little, uh, we'll call them the accident marks. But, uh, there, they, of course I, I didn't scrub them. So there was, there was still residue to be had. There's a riot going on with the youngins. Fiddle says, and what's new? You're a fine bird, Fiddle. They really are awesome birds. They were really good while they were out. They just sk skittered around. Chased each other around for a little bit. I, I had them out for probably 45 minutes, maybe an hour. I don't know. But uh, they were fine. Made a, made a fine mess, of course. Getting ready to clean all that up. But, uh, you know... It's okay. I'm all right with it. Although I will have to say, I went to Kroger today, and uh, their eggs were two dollars and fifty cents a dozen. 
Two dollars and fifty cents a dozen. Chickens. I didn't need you. That's like almost reasonable. That's like that's like not. They're not trying to kill. Before they started, decided they were trying to kill us. Prices. Yeah. So um, there's that. But that's okay because I would rather have my own anyway. I'm uh, I'm slowly weeding out all foods that are not naturally grown and that are not processed in any way. Um, and it's it's going very well, I'll have to say. I've this is uh, I think this is day. Let's see, what is today? The twenty third, twenty second. Yeah, so it's been. Uh, Seven days. Seven days with no caffeine. And I am doing great. And I will never drink it again. I can tell you that. I would have to be like falling dead asleep driving to get to drink caffeine again. Because I, I really think that there I was there's a lot of issues that it has fixed. I, I haven't quite nailed them down yet. I'm still working on exactly because I, I think I'm still a little. It the, online it said it takes like two to nine days for it to get out of your system. I'm pretty sure I'm I'm in the clear at this point. But um, yeah, I've been drinking a ton of water. I I was actually drinking too much water. I think if you can believe that, I uh, I was drinking water, drinking water, drinking water, just kind of trying to flush my system out. And it, I like, I kept getting these crazy stomach aches. And I thought that maybe it was like, um, because I had drank so much like soda that it had messed up my stomach. Maybe I had like a, like a, a tumor or something <laughs> running around in there. So I, uh, I was like, oh my god, I think there's something wrong with me because for like three days I had this, these like just coming and going stomach aches. And so I looked it up and I was like, maybe I'm drinking too much water, you know? So I, I looked it up and you can drink too much water and one of the symptoms is nausea, which is kind of one of the, one of the things, it was kind of a nausea feeling. It wasn't, it was actually kind of a feeling I've never felt before. It was... <laughs> That's why it, it freaked me out a little bit, but um, I stopped drinking as much water, and I've kind of, I've actually had to kind of limit the amount of water I drink because I drink a lot of fluids, and um, I'm fine. Nothing, no, everything's fine. My stomach quit hurting. I was like, "You dumbass! You tried to like drown yourself from the inside. <laughs> what is wrong with you?" So yeah, I uh, my my adventures in uh, water drinking. I waterboarded myself, chickens. Isn't that great? Alright, I'm exhausted. So I am going to start these uh, boxes. And um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Everybody have a wonderful evening.